This past week, I went to one of my favorite food festivals that I've been going to since 2016, and this is everything I ate in my ratings. First place I tried was Austin Lightning. This has been my personal fave since 2018. I love their ribs, even without the sauce. They be so tender, and the barbecue flavor be on point. You get four bones. I shared it with someone, and I ate 75 of my share without the barbecue sauce. Definitely 9 out of 10. Next up was this Australian place. I always thought it was cool when people mop their meat. My friend said she hated how some of the fibers got on the meat, though. I was hungry, and the samples wasn't cutting it at the moment. Moment. so we got their whole sample platter and them ribs was not all that despite all that cleaning he was doing with that mop definitely six out of ten but that pulled chicken though that pulled chicken was so good i had to turn around and look and see what was on the menu definitely 9.5 out of 10. next was this armadillo's place i like they sign i remember their ribs being extra okay i was thinking like yeah i could have made these 7.5 out of 10. then i paid 10 dollars for lemonade and as soon as i got to the front they ran out of ice the lemonade ended up being good because i didn't mention it was 100 degrees this day so any cold beverage would have been 10 out of 10. when he got up to get the next batch of ribs i said Re record this video to sign these ribs was horrible they gave me ptsd because they tasted how my mom's ribs used to taste very boiled then bake three out of ten and three points because they was tender my nine pork eating friends got beef ribs and they're supporters of my foodie journey so after looking at them like this they was like you want a rib or something i'm like yes so they gave me this one and this one came from the aussie place which was the second place i mentioned and this shit was so tough i bit into it and my teeth almost came out with it zero out of ten he liked it though y'all